found a really cool trail yesterday at a nearby state, state park and I wanted to go run it this morning but then I woke up too late and I wouldn't have time to do both the trail and shower and stuff in time to go get brunch and brunch is like the only thing we can afford in our hotel so you don't want to be late for the only meal you can afford, do you? That was very delicious. Now we're gonna go up to back up to Fort Bragg to see something called Glass Beach. Also, check out this amazing car we found. And there's a doggo in there. Hello, doggo. Hi. This Glass Beach thing seems to be very popular. It's like we're in, on a pilgrimage with a bunch of other pilgrimage people. Pilgrims. Pilgrims is apparently what people are on <laughs> pilgrimages are called. <laughs> but aren't pilgrims the people who colon colonized America? I don't think they were on a pilgrimage. <laughs> they might have been a holy pilgrimage. <laughs> yeah. But, but like, look at this. I think we just found some groundhogs. Turns out these squirrel things are very well camouflaged. Who would have thought? Wild animals with good camouflage in their natural environment. We seem to be at like a coastal national monument, but there's no glass anywhere. All the brochures and the name said Glass Beach, but there's no glass. This is where glass was supposed to be, but there's no glass. Absolutely no glass. Oh, I found a glass. Haha! -ha. Glass! Let's see if I can get a decent video of those seals over there. On our way to the seals we saw two crabs fighting each other for... I don't know what they were fighting for. They're too far away, but those blobs over there, those were seals. I wish... This is, this is when I wish I had a proper telescopic lens or a drone. We've had enough of the glass beach, so we're going back to the hotel to play the board game we bought at the nurse store yesterday. Letters from Whitechapel. Letters from Whitechapel. Three hours later. Today I learned that writing in front of the fireplace on a couch while very comfortable is also pretty dangerous because you can fall asleep very easily. So to make up for that, I'm now gonna go run the trail I found yesterday. So according to Fitbit, I'm now one kilometer into my run and I found a trailhead. Four kilometers into my run, in the middle of the woods, and of course, Americans put a bathroom. Because that's what Americans do. They really take care of their tourists. Five kilometers into my run and I think I found the pygmy forest. I'm not really sure what that is, but there's a sign here that says pygmy forest both ways and one of them is longer. So, fuck it, let's go with the long way. Six and a half kilometers into my run. I think the trail is getting worse and worse. But, at least I'm in proper wilderness all of a sudden. Just over eight kilometers into my run and the forest has completely changed now that I'm on top of the valley. But, I am, I'm starting to think this trail does not loop back on itself which means I have to run like eight kilometers all the way back to the car. And well, I told Morgan I'll be back in like an hour. It's now been 45 minutes, so it's, uh, you know, 12 kilometers into my run, I made it back to the big fat touristy trail. And I think, uh, let's see. Right, so we are here right now and I ran all the way here. And I think I stopped just short of the pygmy parking, forest parking area. I probably stopped somewhere here, or maybe somewhere he up, he somewhere up here. But <coughs> I'm now all the way back here. 
Now I have to run all of this back to the trailhead over here. Morgan's either gonna be super pissed at me or she's gonna be super worried that I died and broke my leg. About 15 kilometers into my run, starting to fade. <sighs> I should have brought some water or maybe one of those running gels because turns out trail running with up and down the hills is a lot more tiring than, tr than running on the roads. But I think I have like maybe two kilometers back to the car. I've been now running for an hour and a half, which is even longer than the longest time I told Morgan I might be doing this for. Oh, made it back to the car. That was a 17 kilometer run, like two hours and 40 minutes. Now I have to get back to the hotel before the girl gets too worried. You know, I'm kind of disappointed. I went into the wilderness, I was an hour late coming back, and my dear girlfriend over here wasn't even worried at all. <laughs> instead, <laughs> instead she fed all our food to a seagull. idea how to play this but it looks pretty cool I mean it's Jack the Reaper and Morgan wants to be Jack the Reaper because she likes killing people and I'm gonna be the person who catches Jack the Reaper because well that's the only role I have left